Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau is the best at what it does. Protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. I mean, who the hell does she think she is? The director? What? You're the new girl at the Bureau? Daydreaming? So, deliver mail. I did coffee cups. Wait a minute. And the forms. Wait a minute. Isn't this... The dream. The dream where he was the director and you were the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were the coffee girl. And it went on forever and ever. Glad to be of assistance. I guess they are working. I thought she was going to be like catatonic there. No problem. Anything for the Bureau. You're dismissed. Thank you for giving me a chance. When did we get this outfit? I've got nothing more for you. My pleasure. You can hear it in the back. Mm -hmm. I will get it done right away. Oh god, there's more mail. Where was the coffee bit? No, I haven't found Thank that yet. You. Thank you. Coffee cups. There's so many. Also missed this bit of mail. I am so sorry. I'm new here. Scan forms. So it's just going through the monotony of ah office work. I always feel bad when there's discussions about interns at jobs that would normally be very skilled and how they're just serving as essentially servants when they're supposed to be working on the same yeah, thing they're that supposed the higher-ups are. Yeah. I'm glad for the most part unpaid internships have disappeared because those were awful and exploitative, but now we've got... Now we've got a thing where you need several years of experience to even qualify for a low-level position. Or alternatively, uh, everybody's just an independent contractor. Yeah, so then no one is salaried anymore. Wait, but... You do these, but they fill up and then they go away, but then they return again. It's endless. No, he's not in. No, pick it up. There has to be a way to break this, though. Can't Aha, you? here we go. The nerve of this woman. Who does she think she is? Uh, deliver the mail to his office. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. I like this color palette. I tried doing this specifically for a Fallout run once, but everybody was really mad at me for it. Is it the red. desaturated but more it's just accentuated red. reds? Because if you notice, even on the skin, it's just red. Mm -hmm. Her lips are red, a little bit around her eyes, her hair. Oh, great. I was just waiting for my mail. Just 
Leave it on the desk there, please. <clears throat> so you're the, uh, you're the new girl, right? Well, welcome to the Bureau. We're glad to have you on board. And you should be proud. We do very important work here. <clears throat> oh, and don't worry about starting at the bottom. I wasn't always the director, you know. My uh, Bureau career began as a, a lowly agent. Those were the days. <laughs> I never dreamed I'd one day be sitting here, an old man in this big chair. Like they say, when you're when you're pushed upwards, you end up out of your comfort zone. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. What is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. It's on the desk. Where am I? What is this? Please. I want an end. Wake up, please. I want to go home. You're dismissed. Don't let it go to your head. There was a mist in the air at one point. Yeah. Don't let it go to your head. Fine. Now get out of here. But last time I just did this until be all. it popped up. Mm-hmm. I've got nothing more for you. Fine. Get out of here. I've got nothing more for Oh, that's you. weird. Oh, the plant. Yeah. That'll be all. That's gone. Okay. Do your job. Oh, it's already here. Doesn't she know how dangerous the old director is? He's unstable. He'll tear her apart. Oh, she does Pope. Be She's going to be the third film. They must be working together. She must be in. You should keep trying. Hmm? You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. I must act. Minute. I have a plan, an answer. I'll take the slide projector to the nostalgia department. I'll turn it on. I'll bring the hiss in. I'll fix this. I can hear them plotting against me. We've been invaded, corrupted. I've lost Darling. He was the first to go. He's been exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. They didn't listen. Hedrin corrupted the Bureau. They'll never be people again. They're either dead or they're monsters. I'll stop them. I have a secret ally, the nostalgia department. I have my own slide for the projector. I took it, a memento, in ordinary, after the girl burned them. It's burnt, but it'll work. The hiss mm -hmm. will save us all. I um, lost my train of thought. I, I um, it, it's confused. Like, uh, somebody you know, switching channels too fast. But, uh, I, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, something got into my ear, and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It, uh, started as a, a distant whisper. 
like something you hear in a, a dream. Like a faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those, those words still on my lips. See, in the dream, they had made perfect sense. But awake, they're like a, like a foreign language. Already forgotten. Then the sense of loss hits. Like losing a child. Like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song. A poem. A prayer. That would light up my world and, and make me break through. Make all this pain worth it. Something once lost was found, and it made a home in me. A spring. Should I just go? No, not yet. Waves. Carving. Making me see. And it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself. Into this office. Locked in in this oldest house, which is aging body. I stared in awe through the people and I was filled with knowledge and made better. You know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then, well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and well, because there was a fish stuck there. Yeah, a big there you fish. Go. But sometimes he was, he was an old this is god. That's interesting. Wait. You see, and, and he had put the fish there in, in the, uh, the first place to... Uh, well, to, to, to keep the waste, the, there was rising waste uh, from leaking out. So he was, um, oh, he was, he was conflicted, but he, but, but, but he knew many things. But, but he was, uh, he, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen. But it wasn't a very good one, or, or an interesting one, but, but I, I get so confused so easily. I, um, it, it's, it's so very hard to, uh, to follow every, everything that's happening. So he was referring to the janitor? Yeah, Audie. Mm-hmm. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in. I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. Oh, I need look at to get the... to Trench's office. Some of them are those creatures. Take control. I'm not your servant.
None yeah, they're of this all acting real. crazy. Huh. Oh, there's no interaction over here. I thought I saw a circle. Yeah, things and people are in disarray. Oh! Is he watching you? Yeah, he's just creeping. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. Yeah. Langston and Arish. What are they saying? Not sitting in that chair, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. I need my gun. Oh, the gun. In the eye. It's the hiss. I don't really want to listen to this this time. Can I go? Can, just a little bit more. I feel like somebody else will record this whole thing. You are a worm through time. The thunder saw scorch you. I know what I must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Dr. Casper Darling, I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed. Right. 
saw you. What was that room over there? I thought he was... Find Darling's office. Yeah. Ah, here we go. I knew it was this one, because it had the, all the weird instruments. Ah. There you go. You're gone. Dead. I can't feel you. I can't... This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go? I'm going to check something while we're here. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you still haven't seen the astral constructs, the control points, other things from the board. Yeah, but we didn't get the no. Ah, uh, the darling hotline. Yeah, is not a thing. Well, we could look at these. Oh, it's talking about your upgrade system? Mm-hmm. Fake news, the board is intact. Rebel Faction Descent is a former fired being Persis Courage. Huh. So that was probably after we beat former. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you want to go wherever you please. Oh. Door to you? <laughs> really? What? Just him having fun with his videos? <laughs> This is amazing.
<laughs> Dynamite. This is so weird. But it is my head. You are such a weirdo, Jesse. Grow brighter around one constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me, too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. My so sister this is... had this dream, a bad dream, and the whole world was dreaming of her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. Hmm? Cut off her eyelids. Mm -hmm. You are worth your time! I know he's still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know because that's how it was for me. Being given a power boost. Lot of damage. And these are like level 30 enemies. Mm -hmm. Well, the board set did say that they're allocating energy to you. I can actually recruit one of these guys. Don't mind now. Oh. 
Yeah, unfortunately, this is not particularly conducive to making friendos here. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Because I can make the real big friendos. As long as he doesn't fall off the edge. If he falls off the edge, it's going to be kind of silly. Unfortunately, that big friendo was not necessary. Well. House memory. Yeah, crafting component. I've been getting them periodically throughout the game, not that often. They're usually kind of rare. Also, wow, we are getting points of plenty. Visuals for this game are really nice. If you're getting all this loot, could it be that you're going to have an opportunity to upgrade in between? If there's a final battle? Nice job, dude. Uh... Maybe? Because this just feels like the final instance where you're running to get to him and then maybe there's going to be a fight then and there with him or the hiss. It certainly does feel like the final bit. guys were all hiding under there, waiting for me. That could have gone bad. Almost did. I'm gonna switch from Shatter to... Charge. Yep, those people again. I was not aware that I could take these down. Oh, you're gonna need health. Pronto. There's a bunch over there. Yep, I took a lot of damage. On the plus side, I do, I do a ton of damage to these guys. On the downside, they do a ton of damage to me. Uh, let me try a different one. Uh, let's see. Let's try spin. Anything fun with spin? that you put onto it. Was this the firing from levitation? Yeah, so I have almost perpetual am ammo. The accuracy leaves something. Maybe it's the type of gun you put it on, or ooh, 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 yeah, get those. Oh man, that was really close. That was very close. I'm glad it doesn't just kill you. Class cannon finale. It's not. I'm not supposed to be a class cannon. I 
guess I'll go for the extra HP. Grip to charge. Ooh. I could use a friend right about now. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is the last guy that I have to fight on this island, I guarantee it. Probably the case. Yep. We're getting close, I can hear his words more clearly now. Look up. Yep, that's him right there. <laughs> Well, if I lose this, I have a whole bunch of... Wander. Okay. Oh, 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 thank goodness. Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... ...and I. Oh. Huh. I was expecting a boss fight against... Wait, so against I mind-controlled effectively what was the last boss. Pretty much, that... It, it at least cleared him of the hiss, but it was still running rampant all throughout. How many resources do they have to keep the lockdown maintained? Especially with their personnel heavily cut down. Interesting question. I don't know. Because they have to ensure that it's not going to escape out onto Earth. And what is she going to do? Personally go around slaying all of the infected with the gun and making sure that all of the items are put back in their proper place and that they're cleared of the hiss? What do you think? It seemed like a little bit of an abrupt ending. Yeah. And it's too bad we didn't get more from the brother. I mean, who knows? I don't think it's faking us out this time. Yeah. Not like the previous one. I'm just waiting for the, the third one. <laughs> but... Who knows? Like, psych, that isn't the... Sorry, I, I'm ending. just waiting for the third, like, uh, or the second fake out of, like, these credits aren't even... It's not over yet, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But these seem like legitimate credits. 
Yeah, they do. It does give us a lot of room for DLC. There was like one or two rooms that I didn't end up going into. Whatever the Sterling thing was, we never went into. I really did like the live action videos. They yeah. Were fun. But yeah, realistically, this is a pretty solid game. Reminded me uh, very much of Bioshock and Prey and whatnot. And it's interesting because for all the lore and everything they put into it, it still felt like there was a lot of mystery, though I don't know how the people exist in this organization. I, I suppose they're akin to secret agents. Like the men in black, I suppose. It still begs the question as to what the janitor is. I mean, the hiss was even saying that it was like a, an old god. Because mm -hmm. there was something about the fish in the clog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It it leaves you with a lot of questions, which is and it was a, good a thing. fun world to romp around in for a little while. Like it's a very good what if kind of situation. And I really appreciated how interesting they made it. Because normally with like these games, they're very much like... Either based on our reality or... Well, no, I mean, there's a lot of games like this that set a really interesting world. I think this is one of the best... Oh, I use the name of a sea god in Finnish folklore. Huh. Neat. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Adi is the safeguard of the place designed to get a vaccine for the disease. Yeah. The lyrics for Old Gods of Asgard is Jesse's story. Huh. Ah. I'll have to look at that. That's cool. Works fine for me. <laughs> yeah, it's nice when people can work mythology. This is the themes for yep. a game work mythology in without it just being like a retelling Thor yeah or because like I like Hades but it is very much like just pure pure lore and so like this was kind of neat to tie those in without even you know maybe like mild allusions to it but that's about it nothing more I felt bad that they didn't really explore more about Dylan's motivations because there was resentment and jealousy that he had towards his yeah, sister was, for having escaped and lived a normal human life. I was hoping for more life, of a direct conversation at the very end as we were climbing the pillar like that he was shouting at us specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instead of chanting the same lines over and over and over again. Not that we want to have the classic villain monologue before you are able to vanquish him in combat and whatnot, but she must have struggled all her life too, didn't she say that she had been a janitor herself more than once and Yeah. It looked like in one of the scenes she had gotten shoplifted or she was shoplifting. Mm -hmm. I mean it she straight up was, what, like an 11, 12-year-old that escaped from the FBC? Yeah, I, we don't know if she was living a life on the street that entire time, or if she had been in foster care, or yeah, or what. Yeah, she probably was just surviving. I mean, on the plus side, she had Polaris there to, to like, guide her, quote-unquote. Quote mm -hmm. So maybe... Maybe that helped quite a lot, but 
Who knows? But yeah, if she had entered the foster, foster care, they would have found her immediately. So yeah, she chances yeah. are she was just a vagrant child all the way up through adulthood before she finally probably they probably found her around when she started going to therapy. And at that point, they started watching her to see how she had developed. Because mm -hmm. they probably already knew Dylan was damaged goods. And so she was still a candidate. Right. Because she was the next P7. She was P7. But, you know, if she was just as bad as Dylan, they just leave oh. her there. Oh. You're the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. The crisis is not over. Your work is not done. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us, as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate, our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Well, will you be able Shawshank to investigate? Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. The poster. Not important, but that was it. Okay. The one where they escaped the prison from behind a... Oh. Uh, well, you know, they had to crawl out a hole with an, behind a poster. Mm -hmm. That's what she had meant. Are there going to be horrific creatures floating everywhere still? Or... I guess we'll find out once we get here. No. Nobody's floating in the sky anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk with Pope? <laughs> this will make a great Night Springs episode. I heard you closed the Hiss portal, or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Now if we could just flush out the stragglers. I'll see you Wait. later. There is or I'll be. His hmm? future. Sure. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> so, what's next for Simon Arish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire bureau, but fuck it, the entire fucking world, without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. I'll see you later. There was you know, a Jesse as the director. We already did that one. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. We've always been the... We have... Yeah, we've been the director since the beginning of the game, but now it you just looks more more official. Blah. Wait a minute, look at that. It's possible. I remember a report about a similar incident from '84. The bureau lost contact with a whole department which, during that. Which what? This. Oh. Okay. No. Never mind. I just was looking at the the red triangle. Analysis of his threat, Part Five, Confidential. Summary. His corruption manifests in vastly different ways. Some hosts remain largely unchanged, while others are barely recognizable as human. What determines this level of alteration? Is it the duration of corruption? It could simply be an evolutionary process, each entity representing a stage of growth in an undiscovered linear progression leading towards what? Additionally, his entities possess various paranatural abilities. How have they achieved this? Do they gain them from corrupting objects of power? Have they corrupted a single highly talented para-utilitarian and divided their access to para natural abilities across the network of his corrupted hosts? As a scientist, I am hindered by the sheer number of questions. It's difficult to identify where one should begin. What is the most pertinent question? How do we kill it? That seems like a good start. Refer to file blank for full report. 
Make a note to send in a search party when possible. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Y yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the hiss babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different hiss corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. Well, I've got a bureau to run. Darling's fate. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Wander, didn't you see the thing for Darling's fate? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to open up the menu. No, like you could ask her about it. Oh. Like, like what she thinks. Sorry, I thought it was a pop-up. No. Okay. Let's go ask her. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. You were right to shut it down. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no, but... Phantom voices, as well as hallucinatory states, are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far. But as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm going to consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. Oh, yeah. Actually, in retrospect, all of these are new. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. 
Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay, which I'm guessing must be... Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. The board. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Where the Not even as a joke. I found a couple of relevant files so, I'm trying to think. We still have a couple of characters that are AWOL, too. Remember? Well, there's Arish, there's Marshall, there's the mold lady. Yeah, but Marshall disappeared. Mm-hmm. Hey, I found a file on the old director, Northmore. Didn't list any date of death. You, uh, uh oh. You know anything about that? Could be an error. No date of death for Northmore. Lots of work to well, do. Let's get up. to it, okay? Okay. Well, we've got Arisha's dialogue. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but. Well, you pulled us back from the brink, so. Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done humping hiss. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. 
No one can reach it without my say-so. Well, thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But uh, she was by herself, if that helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. So what kind of upgrades do you have? Oh, um... Well, we have the director's suit, office assistant. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, you do have it. Back to the golden suit, because the golden suit is... Well... I like her hairdo better. Mm hmm I like the pin, but... Uh, anyway, abilities. Oh, I have a bunch of these. Eventually, you'll just be able to max everything out. Yep. I don't have enough, but that's okay. Board countermeasures? Oh. Not that any of these are particularly amazing. Let's see, Astral Constructs, Weapon Forms, Upgrade Spin. Huh. Let me upgrade the rest. Probably fine. I mean, it's not that it matters. Let's take a look at this. So, yeah, we've been everything, uh, been in everywhere in Executive. Maintenance, we still have that mystery zone. Where was it? Over here. Okay. I don't think we ever went there. Okay, keep going to the next area. Here, we've been through everything. The ashtray the maze, maze is, is not mappable, mm -hmm. which is fine and was great. And then there's the Hedron Chamber, the Dimensional Research. Yep. Yeah, so everything in research is accounted for. Containment has two zones. One of these two is probably... Um... Oh, well, one of those was the, what was it, the Sterling or something? Yeah, so this is the Sterling, and we don't know about this one. Um, One of these two is probably where Tomasi is hiding out. Mm-hmm. And then also there must be a new cell for your brother. Yeah. Well, for Jesse's brother, Dylan. And one mystery zone of maintenance on the north side of the map as well. This? No, that's not, that's not anything. Maybe things here. So for the for this end game. Chances are it's gonna be DLC. It might be one of those instances where yeah, you're hunting down remaining foes that you weren't able to to finish off earlier and you have the ability to upgrade your character the rest of the way and all your gear. Maybe discover what happened to Marshall? Yeah. Uh, so Marshall, maybe Defeating. Darling. Yeah, yeah, DLC are confirmed from, uh, from source mining. Yeah, so they might be able to ex expand upon it. Yeah. I really wouldn't mind if for these these campaign games that they do have. It, it, there's always seems like such a finality with the end, but this does seem like there is a rebuilding phase. There is a... Potentially more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to see what they do to expand this, because it's it's interesting. I like the idea of being the shadowy government organization, but, like, not evil. Just maybe a bit utilitarian. It would also be fun if you actually saw... Imagine the possibilities where... Let's go say that you finally get rid of the hiss in your building and everything. What if they had little DLCs where you see the outside world for once, where you're not inside the oldest house and you're out there on missions 
bringing in some of these errant objects of power. I would enjoy... Because I, some of the objects of power were, what, the werewolf situation at the warehouse? The I would oh, almost a enjoy a, a side game entirely. Not a mm. DLC. Where it's effectively kind of like Remnant from the Ashes or Left 4 Dead or something like that. Where it, But it's like you and a team of X number of other agents um, are out uh, solving these mysteries and so on and so forth. And, you know, you might have one or two bound what? objects to give you extra abilities, plus, like, an arsenal, plus some, like, gadgets. You, what? Investigate, talk with people in the town, determine where the object is and how to deal with it. Yeah, and, you know, maybe each chapter is only, like, three hours long and kind of standalone. Or not. I don't know. It would be a fun idea. I doubt it would happen, considering Remedy is much more about these highly crafted story, linear story things. But it'd be kind of fun all the same. But yeah, I really enjoyed what they did with this, and I'd love to see what they do next. And so, they did leave a number of loose ends. Oh yeah, they did. 